and look at the groups. It's probably a good thing ask to do. Ask questions at the website. Yes, um, or your neighbor. You actually, you could ask us or the website. You'll get the equal equal response. Probably. But uh, to your point, so this is an elimination match. It's also a yeah. bit of a redemption match in the sense that Binsky versus Seed. Yeah, okay. Uh, everyone expected Seed to win. Cats versus Colt. Yeah, okay. Everyone expected Colt to win. However. Both these players, Binsky and Katz, are very good, and they would never be satisfied with going to a tournament and being like the token losers, the guys <laughs> that were supposed to lose and not stand a chance. So for Katz and for Binsky, I'm looking to see these two put on a show. Show us that you are the CSL qualifier. Show us that Katz, you are not just the founder of a fantastic North American team, you are a stable player in that team. Wow, that was very well said. Mr. in control. Thank you. Of course, this is an elimination match. Best of three. Loser is out of Lone Star Clash number three. The winner will have to play again to get on into tomorrow. Again, more on that later. But here we are on Overgrowth Ladder Edition. Game one of this best of three in the bottom left hand location. I present your Blue Terran player, Vinsky. And his opponents. Hailing from Team Root, it is Katz. Singer of songs, eater of Taco Bell, mm. and founder of Team. Mm. In fact, you used to be a part of Team Root. If yes. You still are. You're like a retired member, right? It, uh, <laughs> I don't know what retiring is. I legitimately is these don't days. know. No, no, no. It's, it's, I'm, I'm no longer, I guess, associated with Root Gaming, but okay. um, I have a very deep connection with them, and I will always have. There a very go. deep connection with them. Um, and it's on my mind for some reason, so I have to get out of the way. Uh, Jeff, have you been skiing lately? Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's the daddy joke of the weekend right there. I, I love just, it. I just, I had to. Usually uh, it's me that, that lands that terrible joke. You, you did it. Axel Toss, I appreciate that. You're welcome. I'm, I'm here all day, hopefully. <laughs> if my hopefully. voice doesn't get out. So if a giant hook comes out, it takes you out, we'll know. <laughs> Uh, Binsky, I mean, TVZ, let's be honest here. Uh, let's cut to the chase. It's yeah. a fairly formulaic matchup in the sense that, generally speaking, Zerg goes hatch first, Zerg gets speed, Zerg gets speed links to counteract the Hellion Reaper harass that should inevitably be coming. From there, there's a little bit of a fork in the road. Some Terrans like to go cloaked Banshee, uh, yeah. Hellion harass with a third CC. Others will go into more, you know, standard bio play, sometimes third CC, sometimes without. Uh, and then there's, of course, mech play. That's where it starts to get a little bit shaky. But for the most part, the first six, seven, eight minutes, fairly scripted in TVZ. I say that, though, and we do have cats. So yeah, I, it, it could nothing be that is scripted it when, it, when it comes to cats. Yeah. Um, I like his decals he has outside of his hatchery, though. The, the stars with the smileys on them. The stars with the smileys. Are you able to see that on your... Where? Next to his hatchery there. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's I just his, thought uh, I'd draw a little attention to that. I actually did not notice that. Yeah. That is adorable. It's like it's a Kirby adorable. throw out or like a shout out or something. It like feels that. like there's a StarCrafts um, yes. element to it somehow. You are right. So, quick shout out to StarCrafts. If you haven't checked that out, go on YouTube. It's fun to watch. But anyway, this Terran versus Zerg. We got Binsky in the, top, in the bottom left, making a Reaper. Very standard play. Command Center on the ground. Nothing too crazy fancy from either player thus far. Order your Reaper across the map. Ling's popping out just in time. You don't want to lose any drones. And Kaz has not lost a drone just yet. So both these players just uh, doing what they do, just scouting. Yeah, you know, you say it exactly right. Losing a drone is what separates this start from all the rest. Typically speaking, a Zerg should not lose a drone. The really good Zergs don't even lose a Zergling. They'll micro it back to see one dying there. Not the biggest of deals, but, yep. you know, it's something that in other places where oftentimes Karen gets nothing. Uh, but once the queens pop out with their range and with their general hardiness, they should be fine to repel this attack. And then, you know, some players will add on like two barracks and, and hyperdrive the, the Reapers, but Binsky's not doing that today. He's doing the, the, the fairly standard play. You get the two Reapers out, get that scouting info, get that map presence. Interestingly enough, by the way, quick side point, these lings are actually being very annoying on uh, Binsky's side of the map. But anyway, he's transferring to the factory, getting on that reactor, and getting those Hellions out. A lot of purposes here. One, you want to be able to scout your opponent's front door, see the progress of that third base. You want to be able to keep the creep spread, getting too crazy out in the early game, have a good amount of map control. And Hellions, they're, they're, they're little mini cars, so they're just pretty cool. <laughs> you know. Yes. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? I'm saying it. 
Well, it's too late now. Yeah. Either way, we'll know again if that giant hook grabs you. <laughs> uh, I want to see here if the third CC is not scouted just yet. So that Overlord could be a little bit further over. And if it was, Cats would have intel on kind of the climate of this game. Sometimes Terrans will delay that third CC, and then when they do that, they have faster and more heavy unit production, which makes it more dangerous to, uh, as a threat. With that third CC, Cats should have the information where it's like, okay, yeah, he can still be dangerous with these Hellions and Reapers, but I need to start thinking about ramping up my econ as well. As it is, Cats doesn't have the intel, but he's basically doing that. Jerome's coming out behind this, third hatch as well. He's looking good. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering about the history of these players and how often they meet. I mean, they're both North American players, so I'm sure they've played each other quite a bit. So this might be a situation where they're both kind of knowing their opponent is going for the macro game. So Cats might be kind of assuming that that third command center is there and, and just heartily making those drones because he wants to get to the late game as fast as possible. Sure. Well, at least Zerg's want to get those drones out as fast as possible. Well, it's interesting. Cats, you know, I think... Uh... Even Rotterdam touched on this in our first broadcast of him against Paul, but he's actually a very smart player too. Oh, so, of course. to your point, I don't know that he necessarily plays a lot of games against Vinsky, but I would tell you, Katz would be one of those guys that through one way or another would be fairly aware of A, the tendencies of the matchup, but also B, the tendencies of more specifically Binsky. So uh, I think you're actually very much so on point when you ask if, if that's something Katz is aware of. All right, we got Vinsky still, you know, applying pressure across the map. He's not trying to kill his opponent with these Hellions and Reapers. Sure, that'd be fantastic, but it would only happen if Katz fell out of his chair or something. He's just trying to keep the creep from, from getting too far, apply some pressure. Just causing your opponent to make additional actions um, can, can be a great thing because you're distracting him from doing something uh, somewhere else on the map. So that's what Vinsky's trying to do. The worst thing you can do is lose all your Hellions and Reapers, but it looks like he's going to sneak a, a few of them away. Lost a couple, though. He's lost enough, and these, you know, two of the three Hellions are very deep red, that kind of that threat you talked about should, for the most part, be gone. One of these queens is hanging on by a, a thread of life, but it, she gets replaced by a more uh, healthy one. One thing I want to draw attention to here, though, is on the Evolution Chambers, we have plus one range Whoa. and carapace being upgraded, as well as road speed right now. So this is a little bit different. We talked about how these players, more specifically cats, are capable of anything. This is not super wild and crazy, but this is different enough that if the Terran does not find out about it sooner rather than later, a bunch of roaches can disrupt a third and perhaps more dangerously, well, very much so more dangerously, win the game. If you don't have marauders and tanks, you're in a lot of trouble. So he's at 61 harvesters, and we're at a position where he can add more drones or he can just keep pumping out units and go for a really heavy assault. Oh, it's pump time, baby. On, on the third, it's pump. just try to deny that. You know all about pump time, man. I am a avid pumper, and yes. Katz is showing that he is not afraid to tear pump. off his shirt and pump it a little bit as well. Oh, wow. He's pumping. Yes, and we're, and we're seeing that. And, and, and a big part of this is kind of hiding, and, and we see him keeping some roaches up in the yeah. north side of the map, so... Um, well, the best response, is, like I said, it's it's going to be tech labby stuff. Marauders are very good against this. Tanks are very good. Uh, you know, you can do Widow Mines, you can do Marines, but they're suboptimal. They are a form of response, but not ideal. And Binsky's moving out. Yeah. This is actually interesting because he doesn't want to be out now. He's going to come no. back home. What I was going to say to finish my thought, though, is Medivacs would be one of his advantages. A double Marine drop in the main, very hard for cats to deal with. And if the Terran can pick up and defend at the natural or defend inside the main, that counterattack ability is a Terran weapon. All right, speaking of counterattack ability, Ling sprinting into the natural expansion, trying to get into the main. Oh. Good widow mine placement there from Binsky. He should be able to shut that down. But meanwhile, Roach is clearing up. Uh, well, I think they were able to pick off some units there in between the natural and the third. Now trying to charge into the natural expansion. Remember, Kaz is investing a lot into this, and he's going straight for the heart of Binsky, and ignoring that third base, going for the natural, ideally trying to get to the production. But I think Binsky has too much. He does. I mean, he lost a lot of SCVs here, I believe, so that would be where we'd look to say, okay, that wasn't so bad, but to your point, for the most part, because this third was untouched, and that's honestly just cats not paying attention, you send two roaches over there, it gets shut down. But now Pinsky pushes out, and let's talk about this. Roaches, very, very scary, especially with those upgrades, but they're scary in large numbers. Three bases going on four, not mining gas in the third, no tech switches here. Katz is stuck on this tech, and it's really hard to deal with the, the drop mobility. 
but also as these upgrades ramp up, if, if Terran can get the 2-2 at more Marauders at tanks, holy cow, even Metamaxes become a threat, by the way. If you get the 5-6-8 Metamaxes, <laughs> it's hard to stop them. Uh, yeah, it's it's an invincible Terran army when it gets to that point. That's when you want the additional tech. So, but what we're kind of reading from this though is that Katz doesn't want this game to get there. He's no. continuing with those upgrades, two two. So it, it's kind of looked like well, we have an engagement here at the middle of hand location. Remember, Binsky is sneaking in the next to the right hand side. But to close out that thought really quick, Katz does not want it to get to that point. So it's looking like he might be trying to mount for a two two push. But that being said, he's still being very aggressive oh, with the motions Katz, that he has. No. I, I feel like I, I'm i going to throw myself under the bus. I underestimated the economic damage the Cats did. I mean, Binsky's moving around trying to, to flag the attention of Cats. Well, he got it. Cats says, OK, if that's your army, I can actually attack right now. And he is knocking at the door. The third, once again, kind of being ignored. And that's like a, a weird OCD pet peeve that I have at this point in time. There was a drop in the background. Uh, yeah. But that, again, naturally gets deflected just by whatever response the Cats. Cats is in the driver's seat. He's up 40 supply. Still ignoring that third, but Binsky's got to feel pinned back. He's in dangerous spots. Um, it, it, this is a very... I mean, these guys are playing very energetically, right? We're, we're seeing a lot of action across this entire map. Cats is still sticking with this, this Roach tech. 2-2 Two -two is about to finish. We're seeing some tanks get onto the map here for Binsky, but um, to your point about the medevacs, like, he's not getting to that... Well, he's, he's approaching five, so... You know, he's not out of this just yet. No, but I, I don't yeah. really see Katz charging into the natural at this point. Well, what's tough is situationally, I think Binsky's buttoned down and safe, but for how long do you want to be quote unquote safe on your two bases? You know, yeah, you've got no, no, Katz no, exactly, yeah. building drones and saturating his fourth, uh, albeit very slowly. As, Hydroden on the way. As right now, it's not there. As you pointed out, Hydroden as well. So Katz, with that map control, he's making all the choices. And look what happens every time Binsky comes out. It's yeah. like, no, 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 get back in your corner. You do not belong out here, and Katz, he's gonna poke, but I don't think he can get yeah. through here. Yeah, he's gonna back away. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's that's definitely a dangerous thing to do sometimes, trying to muscle your Zerg army into a natural expansion of a Terran. That's heavily fortified. It's an easy way to kind of turn the game around, not in your favor. Meanwhile, we have a drop here for Minsky in the top left, which is gonna deny this fourth base, and, and that's actually yeah. fantastic for him. And, and more importantly, maybe, is, is Katz is bringing his Roaches back to defend against this, yeah. which means that Binsky might be able to fortify a third base while those Roaches are across the map. Well, gosh, you know, I want to agree with you, but he's only got the two tanks and four Widow Mines to his name right now. Other than that, he's actually stubbornly continued to produce only Marines. So I feel like Katz with this gigantic blob of Roaches, especially now with the 2-2 upgrade complete, He's fine. He's okay with having map oh. control. What, what worries me, Axel Toss, and I'll tell you this. Go ahead. He's adding on Hydras. Hydras, you know, they're very different from Roaches. They attack air, obviously have high DPS, but the response is still more medevacs, widow mines, I guess, but more tanks. Vinsky can just naturally kind of take this into account. And if Katz gets stuck at 200 supply, I don't know how he loses that supply cost effectively. I feel like he could give up a big fight. Right. Um, I mean, a lot of this comes down to you know, positioning where these guys are looking on the map when they choose to engage. Uh, Binsky has to be careful, though. He, I, I feel like he is definitely behind in this game, especially yeah. if we're considering army composition. He can't take a bad fight here. The next fight that, that happens, if Binsky wants to, to be in a good position, it has to go pretty far in his favor. And, and Katz's army is pretty massive, so we need to see some really good decision-making here from Binsky. We're curious on both sides. We have Katz uh, up in the main base and looking to intercept this drop. And these queens have a lot of energy, so I, I do feel like that, well, that answers that. The drop gets picked off in the air. Meanwhile, the gold base did get denied. Kind of strangely, this almost forgotten 15 health medevac was just left to float out there. Cats didn't see it. Uh, but as it is, you know, action toss to, to build up that, that standard caster drama, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Uh, this third base obviously is not oh, defended. Oh, SCVs. A lot of SCVs gonna die. Oh. Uh, that actually takes the wind out of the sails. What I was gonna say, I was like, you know what? He's building a defense. Maybe yeah. he'll be okay. But yeah. then he throws away like 20 SCVs. Yeah, it's interesting. A lot of his army was was on the left side of the map when he's trying to uh, secure that third base on, on, on the middle right. So I, I don't know if his priorities are 100% are in line right now as far as like he, he needs to secure a third base right now. It's so yeah. incredibly important. Um, you know, set up a supply depot wall or something, get those tanks behind that wall, and absolutely make sure your army is in position to, to protect that additional base you're taking. 
Got multi drops coming out here. One at the natural, one at the fourth base. One at the fourth base so far has zero response. Here comes the roaches. One at the natural has a hell of a response. The medevac dies as well as everything else as the entire army is there. Wow. And Vinsky is going to get this fourth base again wow. with the focus fire. Okay. Keeping cats on three bases. You know, to your point, you said Vinsky needs a third base. I couldn't agree more. However, uh, the urgency of that third base gets diminished if he continues yeah. to snipe fourth bases and slow down the economy of cats essentially for free. Look at the supply. It's down to a 30 supply differential. Yeah, uh, Vinsky definitely doing a great job. I mean, the draw play is, is phenomenal. Again, just causing cats to kind of be distracted by all these things. And like a double, triple bonus, you're killing drones, you're killing an extra hatchery, yeah. you're killing drones at uh, uh, various other expansions as well. Um, you know, Vinsky is coming back a little bit. You know, I felt like he was behind, but Cats has been able to kind of progress his tech as this has been happening. Yes. Uh, he's got uh, Infestors on the way, he's got Vipers on the way. Heck, he's got he's got Burrow about to finish. Work on a plus three missile attack. So, able to get his Cats units out there, his, his creative units that he loves to have fun with. But, Binsky's securing this third base. Let's see if he can hold on to it. Yeah, he'll have the third for now, and it's going to end up being his only mining base as the mules have taken a toll on the natural, mining it so fast. But back to your point about the tech, uh, I really like Infestors being the, the unit of order here. Because Binsky's so heavy on Marines, Fungals can absolutely devastate giant chunks of that army. But what are the Infestors doing? Did you guys think you're burrowed? Oh, oh my gosh. Guys, you're not burrowed. You're not burrowed at all. No, no. you're not. Sorry. All right. Uh, still no, no. <laughs> SCV's like, get out of here, you <laughs> son of a bee. It's like, no, you're not, Terrence. And stay out. Dude, that SCV, man. He's there like, ah, go. I win. Oh, no. It wasn't as bad as it, it could have been. I, for a second, I thought he thought they were burrowed. He was walking them across. A uh, couple of, you know, cats is like, all right, listen, you're going to stop me from taking a fourth base. How do you feel about a fourth, fifth, and sixth base at the same time? You can't stop all my fourth bases. Or can he? Yeah, he's going to try. We'll see how Vinsky responds. Actually, moving his army up left hand side of the map. Now, Katz has a decision to make. Does he counter, hit the third, or does he try to engage this? You know, Vinsky's yeah. already getting in a really good position. I'm not sure if Katz even sees this. It's kind of dark. I'm at, I'm at his vision right now. Okay, no, he just now sees it. He sees it now. He's on the low ground. And Spread Katz... those tanks out. Siege him up. Yeah, I think with the Vipers, the he can deal something some about this, oh, but true. without Vipers, I certainly agree with you. It probably should have been a counterattack. Blinding Cloud's oh. going down. Half that army just steps up into a smothering. Cats engaging in kind of a weird angle, though, but the Infested Terrans from behind are going to spread out Vinsky's army, and uh, Cat says, no sorry, Bob. You know? You do not belong out here. Three medevacs are all that remain. The rest of the army is torn he killed, asunder. He killed all the expensive units. You know, yeah. trying to, you know, silver lining type uh, ideology there. And, and now he's trying to, to take down these extra expansions, which Cats doesn't have a lot of drones there, so... If he can deal with this Roach Hydra push, which I think he can, because there's not a lot of uh, spellcasters, you, you kind of need spellcasters with this, I think. Roach Hydra, though, is just it's so hardy against just Marines, you know? And oh, here they come. Vinci's going to try to do what he can. Even these Hydras would ideally be behind Roaches, but as it is, too much oh. DPS. The bunker will not pull. What's ever coming out is dying. Yeah. If he had like third is getting destroyed and ran over, it's looking lights out. If he had like a tank and maybe three more medevacs, it, it could have been closer. But Cats smelling a weakness immediately pounces. Very cat-like of him. I like it. Across the map <laughs> to, to, to take advantage of that, and, and you know that says a lot about Cats's game sense. And he's going to take down this natural third base is all but shut down. SCV is looking for homes. There's the JG from Vinsky. and Cats takes a very exciting game number one there. You know, and you said it, very exciting, because I'll tell you, it was looking to be...